In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we ride out a big storm in Pipe Creek. It's a big windy blow that pushes two boats into the shore and spins us like a top. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. It's just after five in the morning on the first night of this storm and uh, the winds so far haven't been too bad. Um, it's gusting in the low 20s so we're holding pretty good right now. Uh, the big issue with the wind isn't the fact that it's blowing it's the fact that it's spinning and it's turning around on your anchor and spinning that causes problems because it'll pull your anchor out of the bottom. We're all in different boats but we're all in the same boat. Lisa's asleep not her turn for anchor watch yet. We got three days of this, so it's going to be tiring. So that's not too bad. It's almost six in the morning. The wind and the fetch are picking up, and I've seen some lightning. Uh, it's the second time tonight I've seen lightning, but uh, this was some pretty strong stuff. So it looks like it's starting to pick up. So what are we doing today, Captain Blah? So what are we doing? Captain what? Blah. So what are we doing today, Captain Dave? Riding out more storm. Uh huh. Shall I go outside and see what's happening? Go have a look-see around. And what way are we facing, Captain Dave? Uh, I'm going to guess south-southwest. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that our butts are backed up against this piece of land. There's the beach. And here's everybody else. Ready for this? 18, 20 knots. Sustained. All right, the storm just came in. It's been calm all day and it just spun us like a top. I've got the engines on. Uh, I saw 38 knots of wind. wind was 40. Now I'm seeing. It went to 40. My hands are shaking. I'm like, this is just a lot. So Lisa saw it go to 40. There is lightning all around us. We seem to be holding right now. Lisa is, Lisa is carefully watching the uh, anchor alarm. We're spinning around quite a bit. And the rain, uh, wind just dropped to 22. The rain just slowed down. And the engines are going. The engine, yeah, the engines are running. So the wind has slowed down to about 24 knots. The rain has slowed down quite a bit, but there's still a lot of lightning going on. This isn't over. The good news is we're testing our anchor in a west wind because we hit 40 knots and we didn't drag. But we're not sustained either, so. 25, 26. Did they drag? So there's a possibility these two boats might have dragged. Oh, that wind hit Because they're in, they're in really shallow. The wind hit us like a slap. They hit that hard. They, they shouldn't be there. That was a pure gust. Like, that was a punch. Oh my God. We got a lot of lightning. I'm hoping we're not going to get struck. But those two boats are both way too shallow. They should not be there. Did you catch that? I don't know. I hope I caught that. That lightning hit, uh, looks like Little Pipe Key. Whoa! Another massive strike right behind us. That's one way to test your anchor. That was 40 knots of gust and we didn't drag. I'm very worried about those two boats and lightning is striking all around us big time. I'm not hearing anything on the channels. Maybe they're okay. I don't remember them being over there. Whoa, I got that one. We're still good on the uh, anchor alarm? Okay, we're right at the edge of it. 
my hands are still shaking. Sorry, guys. That whipped us around. Like, I mean, 40 knots, like we, a punch. We were over there. Yeah, and went like that. And it, look at look at how close we came to that edge. Yeah, that's a 100-foot radius. I got it pretty tight. But uh, with the amount of chain we have out, that's not that far. I know, we're moving over this way. When you live in a house, your first instinct is to get in out of the rain. Hey. When you're on a boat, your instinct is to get out here and go, are we dead? Are we dead yet? Uh, the little mama hall near us is doing really well. Everybody seems good, except I'm worried about those two boats. Now, they're up on their bow on that mama hall. I hope they're okay. <clears throat> they're side by side, aren't they? Yeah. He's, he's right next to him. Look at that. Oh, no. The, the first thing we do when something like this happens is we turn the engines on because you don't want to leave everything to chance and then turn your engines on after you've started to drag it's and, and whip because it's too late it's at that late. point. You've got, we've got that right behind us. That's, that, that's really, really shallow before we ever get to shore. Although the good news is the depth is 118 feet right now. That might not be accurate. We might be real close to the bottom. It's very shallow here. We're almost up. That might be why we stopped, please. I think we're on the bottom. This is not how I want to spend my time out here, but you got to take the bad with the good. And we just got back to the end of the chain again. Did you feel it? So I motored us forward a little bit, but not enough to foul us. And then it pushed itself back. So we've got boats still spinning over there, but the good news is we're all pulled in about the same direction, which means that it's a consistent wind moving in one direction as He's opposed moving. to okay. a spin. When that's your front bit. Guess what boat that is? The same one with all kids on it. Oh my God, they must have freaked out. He definitely dragged. And I think that mono's on the bottom. Looks like they're trying to catch off. Yeah. They might need help. But there's still lightning going everywhere, so we can't get out on the water yet. But we might have to go over there and help them get off of that. Because they're, on, they're definitely on the bottom. I can't believe we helped. 40 knot push. With one push. When you look at the wind maps and everything on Predict Wind and on Windy and so forth and all the different apps that cruisers use, they don't show you the gusts because they can't, right? You get these little mini squalls and uh, they come on hard and they it's just like a slap. So what you're looking at right now is we're supposed to have 17 to 20 knots sustained. No big deal. We can do that all day long and all night long and not worry about it. We're at 21 right now and it's feeling common relation to what we just got hit with but when those big winds come up they don't come up in a straight line they spin at you so they throw your boat sideways which yanks on the anchor yanks on the chain lifts it all up and you you want to hope it's going to hold but you've got no way of knowing until it happens i mean you do the best you can just getting prepared for it and it looks like we're holding we were going to put out an extra 10 feet the problem is is we don't have an extra 10 feet it's just too shallow Another huge lightning strike. Right over there. Is another huge one. They're trying to anchor. They're going backwards really fast. Really fast. Hook up, guys. Hook up, guys. That sucks. I hope they get set. Yeah. Man, I hope they're okay. We've got friends across, straight across from us. They look like they're holding just fine. They're up here. Way up. Oh, I'm losing it. Let's hope none of the buildings were struck. There's resorts on these far islands over here. The monohull's moving. Yeah, they got off the they got off the bottom. That's awesome. I'm just uh, letting friends and family know. Congratulations, guys. That's awesome. They're Good moving. Ah, oh, that makes me feel so much better. Everybody's having this same ride right now. The monohull is over there looking for a place to hook up. Looks like this one here might be moving too. But they didn't think they let go. And then the catamaran. It looks like they're hooked back up and holding. Meanwhile, we still got uh, at least one more cell to ride out. 
before we catch a break, and this is supposed to keep going like all night. We're listening to the radio and there's guys who saw 42 knots of wind and one guy saw 52 knots of wind on his meter. So yeah, that was quite the blast of wind. And it, it all depends where you are in the cell. Lisa saw 40 knots, enough to make her hand shake. Did it break 40 knots or 40 it knots? It broke 40 knots. So we're, we hit over 40 knots, probably 41, 42. That's enough in a big blast like that. It's that bad enough glance. sustained. That was all a glance I could give it before I had to run back inside and take a look at where we were on the on on the map here to make sure that we weren't dragging. That was not fun. Add 2.1 feet to our depth, and that's the actual water depth that we draw three and a half feet. So 4243 means we're a couple feet off the bottom. When you see 2.1 feet on our depth gauge, we're on the bottom. So these guys were up against the shore, and now they're back out. I hope the boat's okay. There is a lot of sand here before you get to the shore. So you want to hope that when you come whipping into shore like that, that you get stopped on the sand and not, and you don't make it to rocks. Whereas out here in the, in the channels, you can see the different colors, the different lines in the water. Those are reefs all the way around us. And we're very shallow draw, so we come over these reefs and anchor in here. But these boats with these uh, keel boats, they can't do that. They can't get over those. I mean, they probably could at high tide, but we are certainly not at high tide. What happened? Okay, so the storm was uh, about an hour and a half, two hours ago? Yes. That came through and spun us sideways. Uh, a little north, of, or sorry, a little south of here, they saw 55 knots of wind. Dave. We saw over 40. Dave. And our anchor reset. And now, while we wait for the next one to come through tonight. Dave. This, this is what we're looking at. It is dead, dead calm. calm. There is like, two knots of wind, which is, there's little, no wind. A little flat all the way out. Is. We were over there. Oh, so we can see the anchor. We've drifted back over. Oh yeah, we can take a look and see how the anchor looks. We're dug in. Look, it's buried. Well, not like the hoop's not buried, but the... I think it looks better than it did. Yeah. So our anchor got a jolt from that 40 knot wind. It whipped us around sideways and it looks like it dug in pretty good. Yeah. So I think we're gonna be fine. Hope so. I am very happy that storm hit us in daylight because that would have sucked even worse at night. But the next one is scheduled to hit us at night. So that's gonna be um, exciting. I don't, want, I don't want to use that word no more. <laughs> you use it wrong. <laughs> you ready for that next blow, Lise? No. All right, let's go I do it. I don't want it. Dead calm. And look at, that's how fast the current's gone. It's hardly moving. Well, that's why we're sitting on top of our anchor. Well, the storm gave us a break for a while and it was dead calm for hours and hours. And then about half an hour ago, it started to kick up. I'm seeing, there we go, 22 and a half, 23 knots of wind. That's not a crazy amount of wind by any stretch. Problem is, we're right close to shore. Hard to see in the dark, I know. If you take a look at the depth gauge, there's 2.4, 2.3 feet of water. Uh, we're on the bottom at 2.1. This is what I was referring to earlier when I said that the uh, there wasn't room to put out more scope because there just wasn't enough swing room for it. Uh, and the reason is if we put out more scope, we're that much closer to shore and there's just not enough water to do that. Our depth gauge is up here ahead of our keel, which means it's very possibly even shallower underneath our rudders where we are here. So we're back to it being very uncomfortable again and uh, hoping for the best. When we pulled this way yesterday during the day, we were, we were pulled this way at 40 knots. So in theory, we should be fine. I'm gonna be awake for a while. This isn't supposed to let up. Well, the rain is gone. I've had a good sleep. Lisa was on watch and uh, we're still spinning around. We're still getting lots of wind, but by lots, I'm only talking like 15 knots instead of uh, no, 30. So we keep spinning around wind and current fighting each other now, but uh, this is a little bit more manageable at 15 knots and I'm not real concerned anymore. Believe this, look at the spin. We're just repping around in circles. Here we come back around. 
hour and spin mode. Okay, come on. Uh, I'm gonna go and check the anchor, make sure we're okay for tonight. Storm anchor check, take one. It's okay, but... Okay, that's what counts. While I was in the water, I decided to check out the shoal surrounding us. All the times we've been here, we've never actually snorkeled the reef right alongside our boat. So, it's pretty cool actually, and very shallow. a tiny thimble jellyfish. And where there's one, there's more.
water's still kind of murky from the high winds and waves and stuff, but still pretty cool. Notice the little brown jellyfish. Yeah, all kinds little, of little, little tiny ones. Some good time going down. <laughs> There's one more night of the wind shifting around that we need to be concerned about, but we're dug in really well. We had a dive on it today. We're nowhere near as close to the beach as we were. I think tomorrow we'll wander off past Joe Key Cut and go and dive. Go do some diving, do some snorkeling. We yeah. did some snorkeling today and it was a lot of fun. It made me remember why I love the Bahamas. Chasing an angel fish and chasing some fish. I like to chase fish. You're a fish chaser. <laughs> I'm a fish chaser. It's like, come here, give me a hug. <laughs> this is the payoff for getting through all the miserable crap is that you get sunshine and light breeze and hanging out on the bow of the boat in uh, probably one of the most beautiful places on the planet. <laughs>